I feel like I'm so close yet so far. Why did they have to make this stupid thing so complicated? And and uh, oh, well, I thought I smelled something. Unfinished pizza. And some crazy mathematics. What, Patrick? This was you. Hey, SpongeBob. I need you to be quiet. I'm trying to concentrate over here. This is important. My geography assignment is due in 30 minutes. Uh, but I don't know where the last continent goes. Where? Where does it go? Uh, I got all the other ones right, I think. If I help you out with that, do I get a slice of pizza? Yeah, I can't fail out of this class. Go ahead, SpongeBob. If you know where it goes. Uh, I wonder where it goes, huh? Yeah, you look at that. I think we did it. Yeah. Wow, that was so hard. It's complete. Oh, SpongeBob, you did it. Okay, now where's my slice of pizza? Kind of I'm tired of being an idiot, SpongeBob. Everyone thinks I'm so dumb. What do you mean? You're not an idiot. SpongeBob, I'm an idiot, and even I can tell you're using a condescending tone on me. No one can think you're an idiot if you never speak. Have you ever tried saying nothing all the time? Everyone's just gonna think you're a genius. You just gotta look like a genius. Okay, you know what? Maybe that's not gonna work either. <sighs> Patrick, what are you doing? Just moping around the place? Can't you do your sighing somewhere else? No. Everyone thinks I'm an idiot, Squidward. What if everyone thought you were an idiot? If everyone thought I was an idiot? Psh, I would just... Here it is. <clears throat> See, I would just grow a brain. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? I was born with superior genes, so I didn't have to grow a brain. Heh, I just have my original. Grow a brain? How does it work? I can... I can... grow a brain? Well, that's easy. You just soak it in water. And the longer you soak it in water, the bigger it'll grow. I mean, it's got all the instructions in the back. You don't have a brain, but I'm sure you can follow them. Just like that? And I can have a brain? I could be smart? You can be smart the longer you soak it. If it dries out, though, that's on you. Thank you, Squidward. I'm gonna use right away. Why didn't I think of this sooner? I'm so tired of him being a complete idiot. Well, here we are. Finally got Squidward's tub full. Huh. I can't wait to have my new brain. Huh. New year, new me. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Gungus. What? Hey, Patrick, what are you doing? You don't bathe. SpongeBob, check this out. It's my new brain. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's still kind of small. Are you sure that's a smart brain? SpongeBob, it'll grow in Squidward's bathtub. Want to watch me throw it in? Grow in the tub? What? You can just grow brains in the tub? Since when? There goes SpongeBob! Look at it! Whoa! Wait, it's not growing! It's gonna take a couple hours, uh, it says on the box. Only a couple hours to grow a whole new brain? I wish I knew about this. Wait a minute. If you can grow a whole new brain, why can't I just grow a whole new body? A new body? SpongeBob, what's wrong with your body? Oh, well, you see, I got all these burn scars from working at the Krusty Krab. They're pretty bad. Wait, is that a piece of bacon? Oh, whoops, I accidentally left my spare bacon there. Here, let me take that off. But the worst scar of all is this thing. What is it? Ugh, oh, get this off of me. I can't wait to have a new body. That's right, we're bringing back the grow it, SpongeBob. It's been too long since I've used this. I didn't think of using it for a whole new body, though. But that should grow into the size of me, right? Uh, it's been so long. What did we even do last time? Like, how did we even grow this thing? To do? Just dump it in the bathtub. You don't need an overly complicated six-minute video. You know, this water's actually kind of hot. It's kind of burning me. I feel like I'm cooking. Right, Squidward? Yeah, I, I got served, dude. I got cooked. I'll get you out of there, Squidward. Old buddy. It's kind of gross, dude. Patrick, uh, this water is kind of disgusting. Yeah, you guys are about to get harpies. Hey, SpongeBob, they're done. They're done? I want to see. Ew, uh, yeah. I've never been uglier. They turned out worse than I thought. They're so ugly. Well, that was, that was a ripoff. I want my money back. Oh, yeah, something tells me we didn't do it right last time. Bro, this is bringing back memories. SpongeBob turned back into a fetus! This time I'll do the honor. 72 hours. I can't wait. Alright, this time we do it the right way. 
No yellow powdered cookies in this bathtub. Yeah, the right way. Ugh. All right, brain, let's do this the right way. Oh. I fell in the toilet. This is where I used to keep my goldfish. Goldfish? Did you just admit to slavery? Brain's nice and snug. Uh, Patrick? Why is your brain in the top of the toilet? Brains need nutrition to grow. It needs to feed off the bacteria in the rust. I don't really think I want rust in my brain, but whatever works. Horrible day at work. I can't wait to use my rose paddle bath salts. Hey, Squidward. Why do you have shampoo and conditioner in your bathtub? You don't have hair. SpongeBob, what in the world are you doing in my bathroom? Can I get an ounce of privacy in my own house? I'm just trying to take a bath. Oh, come on, Squidward. I only have a shower in my house. I don't have a bathtub. I just need the space. It won't be long. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. What is this? You really gave birth to a SpongeBob Venus in my bathtub, SpongeBob? Look how small that thing is. It really needs the whole entire tub? No way that's staying in there. Well, don't worry, Squidward. I'm not growing my brain in your bathtub. I'm responsible. Heh. <laughs> Maybe SpongeBob's the one who needs to be growing a brain. It seems like Patrick's got this figured out. He's not growing a brain in my bathtub. <laughs> Imagine the police come up and knock on my door any second and be like, Hey, we have a warrant. We have to get in there. They check in my bathtub and see a bloody brain? <laughs> How am I going to answer that, huh? How am I going to explain that one? Yeah, he's not growing a brain in your bathtub because he's grown in the toilet. No, he's not. The toilet's empty, SpongeBob. The top part. I ain't opening that. <laughs> You think Patrick knows there's water in there? Come on, he hasn't grown his brain yet. He can't figure these things out. If you let me keep that tiny SpongeBob in there, I'll get you some growing hair. Wait, what? You can keep it in there, but can you actually give me some growing hair? With Patrick's brain, my new body, your new hair, who knows? Maybe we'll show up on stage with you for a clarinet solo. This hair better look amazing. Did you tell him he can't take a bath for 72 hours? Well, I might have left that part out. Huh, I can't believe the grown stuff in my bathroom. Huh, what's that noise? Why does the toilet sound like that? It's coming from in here, or what? Ugh. Huh. What? What the heck is that? Ew! Patrick wants to grow a brain in my toilet? Huh. Now he's going too far! You know what? That's it. This grown hair is not worth it. Wait till Patrick sees a little trick I have up my sleeve. Oh, yeah. Oh, Patrick, it's such a shame that you got a big, beautiful brain when there's a zombie running on the loose. And you know what? It's hungry for brains. Well, this sucks. It wouldn't be able to eat any brain. Maybe a grasshopper's brain or something. Pfft. Well, here you go, bunny. Grow! Grow! Few inches later. Hey, let's check on my zombie. Oh! It's alive! It's alive! Hey, Squidward. I'm here to pick up my new body, and Patrick's here to pick up his new brain. Oh, oh, SpongeBob! Uh, you're here early. What are you looking at, Squidward? Is it my new body? Oh, it's not that important. Well, yeah, well, I figured my body would be done by now, and Patrick's brain, so... Oh, Squidward, what is that? Oh! Th that's not that important. J just trash. Let's check on it. Patrick, is that my body in there? Why did you move it into the toilet? Why is it in there instead of the bathtub? Well, actually, SpongeBob, it's extra potent in there. It's radioactive. It's gonna make it grow ten times the sun. Well, come on. I can't wait to try this new body out. Help me get it out. Wow, that is so much better than the last time. It's perfect. Goodbye, old body. Hello, Tinder matches. But SpongeBob, what's wrong with the bodies we have now? Shut up, twin. How did you get out of the basement? Uh, get back in there. Uh, SpongeBob, should I be concerned about that black spot on there? Well, that might be a tumor, but if it is, it's only because you put them in the toilet. I swear. If I get a tumor in my new body, you owe me a new one. SpongeBob, I need help getting this brain in my head. Patrick, are you sure that brain's gonna fit in your head? I mean, look at that. That thing's like half the size of you. Come on, SpongeBob, give me a break. I ate 412 Krabby Patties at the last Krabby Patty eating contest. Okay, Patrick, I'm gonna put this brain in you. Now, I'm not qualified for this sort of thing. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a brain surgeon or anything like that. So you might feel extreme pain. Hold still. Ugh. Patrick, uh, you feel anything? Whoa, what the heck? What happened to you? Did it fit, SpongeBob? Am I smart now? Uh, well, it definitely did something. 
SpongeBob, I never knew being so smart made me so hungry. We should go to the Krusty Krab and get some Krabby Patties on the house. Oh yeah, you gotta fuel that brain. You know what? My new body could use some food in its system too. It's been surviving off a diet of water for the last 72 hours. That can't be healthy. Yeah, I mean, imagine living in water. Psh, couldn't be me. That's for losers. Whoa, SpongeBob, you're looking fresh. Hey, Patrick, let me check out how durable this body is. All right, ready? Ugh. Ugh. Patrick, please don't tell me the Olympics are over. I feel like I could qualify for everything. I mean, look at this. I don't have a scratch on me. Besides that one tumor. Your fault for putting this in the toilet. All right, let's go to the Krusty Krab. One Krabby Patty, please. Order up. Wait right there. I'm gonna need some nutritional facts about this Krabby Patty. Patrick, after the 10 years you've been coming here, that's the least expected thing I thought to come out of your mouth. All right, I'm not sure why you want these, but here you go. It's all the information you need on the inside. If you even know how to read. Arr! You know what? <laughs> now I know why my brain was so small before. I was eating garbage like this. What are you feeding these people, Mr. Krabs? Arr! This paper's paper more nutritional me. than a Krabby Patty. Hey, what's going on, guy? What utter slump. <gasps> what? Who touched me, Thermostat? No! Krabby Patty! <laughs> CPR! <laughs> it's no use! It's flatline! Patrick, how could you waste that perfectly good Krabby Patty by throwing it? That was the best Krabby Patty ever made! Because I made it in my new body! You always loved Krabby Patties! Remember that time you ate 412? SpongeBob, I have a new brain now. I can't fuel it with garbage like this. I have to get a balanced diet. It's not my fault you didn't get a college education so you're stuck working a slop house like this. That new brain's turned you into a monster. Did someone say monster Krabby Patty? Okay, you know what? That's disgusting. What? <laughs> Wait! No! You owe me money! <sighs> owe you money for what? For saving someone's life by throwing away that heart attack on a bun? Oh, I get it now. The picture's squeaky clear to me. Look how fat you are now. No wonder you care about your diet all of a sudden. Your doctor said you only have a week to live. Well, good luck fitting out the door. Because you're banned. Never come back in here again. That's okay, because you're never going to be seeing my face in here ever again. I'm going to go eat some kale burgers. Okay, so what's the story here? Patrick all of a sudden cares about nutrition? And look at you! You're so small you look like a fetus! Let's just say I found the fountain of youth. Fountain of youth? Yep, right in Squidward's toilet. Wang. What? Fountain of youth, here I come! Ugh, I never got that growing hair! Maybe I can get it now! Okay, do I look any younger? Squidward! Get out of here! You're dripping toilet water all over the place! Oh, so I'm banned from the Krusty Krab too, like Patrick? Just get out! Take the day off! Oh, I should do this more often! Heh, <laughs> since I got the day off, I can finally test out this new nose extension! Heh, <laughs> heh! Patrick just trolled SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs so hard today! You know what? I like this new Patrick! Maybe I won't send that zombie after him after all! Can't wait to tan my new nose! It is looking a little green! What's that on your nose, Squidward? It looks like a bot surgery. Ah! Why would you do that? I just had that done. Here, you want a recommendation for a new nose job? Check out this catalog. If you need me, I'll be in my study. Okay, change my mind. I guess it is time to send out that zombie to Patrick's brain. Let's check on the beast. Ah. Ah. Rise! Rise, my creation! Come henceforth! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Wait, what's alive? What? Your hair? Sp SpongeBob, what are you doing in here? You better not be growing something else in my toilet. Uh, no, no, why would I? Why would I do that? I heard you were sending a zombie out to eat Patrick's brain. What? Of course not. Why would I do that? No, actually, I think you should do it. I'm all for this plan. Patrick's been acting like a jerk with that new brain. I never seen that coming as an unexpected consequence. Probably because he put it in the toilet instead of the bathtub. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Anyways, was that door always open? Oh, wait, what? I didn't open that door. The zombie? He must open the door. I guess it's loose. Well, if anyone asks, it wasn't me. Okay, see ya, Squidward. Eh. <laughs> And I thought this body was good. Wait till I get this body with the clown afro. Oh yeah! This body's gonna be crazy. 
this is only the middle step. It's time for the ultimate test. My old body was never able to do this, so let's see if this one stacks up. <sighs> oh, what a long day. Time to give my brain the rest it deserves. And of course I'm using the Fiji water. It's got the vitamins and minerals my brain deserves. Straight from Fiji. Yup, now that I'm smart, I realize that toilet water was a mistake. Alright, here you go, brain. Let's see if it'll grow. Well, time for bed. Oh, good morning, brain. Huh. Weird. Something seems different. Ugh. I know that Fiji water's good stuff, but you gotta come out, brain. That's it. Ugh. Oh, 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 oh. Brain. <laughs> uh, well, I can't leave it laying on the dirty ground this whole time. Oh, hey, Patrick. What's 2 plus 2? Uh, 21. What? Is your new brain already dried out? I thought you were smart now. Well, about that. Uh, look how big it's gotten. My new brain won't even fit in my head anymore. When you went to bed, what did you put your brain in? Fiji water, of course. Fiji water? Patrick, you can't just use that stuff lightly. What do I do? You're gonna have to wait for it to shrink down, Patrick. <sighs> do you have a hair dryer I can use, SpongeBob? Patrick, does it look like I have hair? At least, not yet. Wait, who's that? Patrick, ask that guy if he has a hair blower. Yeah, he looks like a respectable citizen. Uh, totally not a zombie or anything. What? What is he looking at my head for? Do I have a big forehead? <laughs> Patrick, I think he's interested in your brain. What? No! You can't have my brain! Put that away! Get away from it! <laughs> run, SpongeBob! Run! <laughs> Patrick, I don't think he's after you. He's a zombie, right? I think he's after your brain! Quick! I have to hide it! I know I can't use my big brain, but I can at least use my small brain, and I think this is a pretty good hiding spot. Yeah, how can he get it? You better hope this works, Patrick. Because if it falls, oof, it's gonna hurt your brain. Huh, what are you gonna do now, zombie? You can't get my brain. Looks like dinner has been canceled. Ow. The zombie has died. Wait a second, Patrick. Zombies are hard to kill. He's getting back up. Well, at least he lost an arm. Looks bad. Yeah, now he's really gonna be coming for your brain, Patrick. What is he doing? Uh, SpongeBob, I don't like this. He turned on the fan. Uh, Patrick, that was a terrible hiding spot. Looks not like I could use my brain to figure it out. Wow! Uh, he's got my brain, SpongeBob. Do something. What do I do? Geronimo! <laughs> I've only used my brain once. Get away from me, you stupid zombie. Uh, hey, look, he lost both his arms now. Huh, it's like a back scratcher. Uh, feels good. Well, I mean, I would have just jumped out there to help him, but I can't ruin this new body. <clears throat> the zombie has been dealt with. Patrick, your brain isn't looking too healthy. It looks like it's seen some better days. Oh, it's just a little hairy. It's not like a little hair ever hurt somebody, SpongeBob. And honestly, now that I think about it, that zombie had the right idea. I'm not getting a hair dryer. If I want this brain inside me, this is the only way I can accomplish it. Patrick, what, what are you doing? You're damaging your brain further. I don't think that's going to help. Oh, that's looking like a five-course meal, Patrick, SpongeBob. Patrick, I, I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> oh, hey. Is that my zombie? Ah, what did they do to him? Well, I guess that experiment was a failure. Brains. Brains. Or maybe it wasn't. Oh well, back to the lab again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
way. You're still alive? Why are you standing on my forehead? Uh, Do I have a big forehead? Oh, no. Get away from me. No, my brain. Brains. Brains.